Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Bastion. I don't remember exactly which episode we're on, but this is going pretty quickly, so let's go ahead and get some stuff we done that we already did before. Ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. Alright, so you used to fight with Zul. For Zul, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. Is he now? We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. He was born in the Tazel Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. Is that so? Well, let's go ahead and place the core down. The cores. They remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be alright. Well, look what we have here. Go ahead and build the lost and found. The lost and found. Yeah, this kid takes we the old uh, and makes them whole again. What kind of weapons are we using? Let's go with. All it takes is some fragments. Bastion makes it good as new. And forge, let's go. Uh, do we want something sharp? Plus one blade for throw. Eh, something stringy. It was caused damage over time. Plus 50 damage. Kid I think we want a special that. surprise in every one of those arrows. All right, let's go ahead and go to the we next track down core. A Cores near the edge of the city. I think we've got Pyrith Orchard or Cinderblock Fort. Uh, I think the orchard sounds more uh sounds uh, nicer. I don't know. Okay. No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. Folks used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to Pith, the bull. The gods ah. ain't gonna catch you if you fall. Wow, that's a really dangerous well, path. Well, the gods right are long gone now, and the orchard core is long gone too. Seems Pith ain't much of a watchdog. Can I not get rid of him? Ooh. The gods don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. Pith stood for something once. Something real. Okay. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. He couldn't even save his loyal subjects. Ooh, there's something over here, come on. Something of course. Okay, let's keep moving onwards. Piff makes a decent scarecrow at least. Then Piff lights up like a rodeo. So what will it be? Invoke the gods, or tell them off. Foes shall grow weaker and gr shall grow quicker and move to strike. Piv. All right, and I get Kid some stuff for it. Presses love. Well, if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. Oh, I get I have my shield again. Okay. I didn't realize I had that back. Kid ain't never seen windbags that quick. Maybe a hit but a scare in him. Oh my 
goodness, these guys are just ridiculous. Okay, there we go. Don't come mad at me. Don't leave me alone. I did nothing to you except shoot arrows at you that are like poison. I have done nothing. Alright. Keep moving. So there really wasn't much going on here. Well, I guess that explains why it sounded so nice. Now we can build a shrine of our own, though I got some alternatives in mind. Let's go ahead and talk to Ruckus. Leura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. Rux. Okay, your name is Rux, and here's Zol. Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. Yeah, I don't blame you on that one. Let's get out of here. Let's see. So our next destination would have to be... Cinder Brick Fort. Alright. There's only one way in the Cinder Brick Fort. The hard way. Oh joy, this sounds sure like a terrible place. I'm sure the city marshals place. may be gone. But now the fort's crawling with windbags. to freeze, or starve, or face the kid. There we go. Moving. This is most definitely not a good place. What's over here? Ah! Wham! 
kids ready for the windbags this time. Okay. Whew. There's too many of these things. There we go. Uh, keep moving well, forward. young and old keep fighting for the fort. Come on, why there gotta be so many? Okay. Ooh. At least the marshals left the kid a part and gift. They did, eh? Something the red bags pocket. just can't handle. Something that'll punch clean through. Ooh. I kinda like this. This is kinda neat. It wasn't such short range. Ain't much different from normal folks. All they want's a warm place to stay in a decent man. The calamity drove the wood bags topside. Uh, a lot of them wound up here in this very fort. Get rid of those guys. Me, come on. Nothing really here, huh? All right, let's keep going. Up this way, I guess. Business underground like in the old days. Ooh, an arsenal. Thank goodness. Okay. Windbags can't use martial supplies, but a kid sure can. Let's go back to the breakers, Bo. And confirm it. The stash is the marshal's prize. Goes back to something more his style. Yep. There we go. As for the windbags, Cinderbrick gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. All but the right. ain't theirs by right. Can't blame him for wanting though. You're not exploding on me. All right, got a healing tonic. Let's keep going. So frustrating. Kids got a squirt lure at the ready in case things turn sour. Yep. Give it a 
pay. There it goes. Okay. This is just nuts. I really did make it harder. Whoa. I don't have enough. Good thing the windbags don't know. Kids fresh out of health tonics. Yeah, I am out. I'm out of just about everything. Kid ain't afraid to get burned. Uh, I'm afraid of getting burned. Electronics I come across. Then they bring out Glutus and Glamour. All their scumbag knuckles. They got something to gain. Only oh, they're sorry eyes. This. Terrible, oh my goodness. Alright, enjoy this guy. He's gonna cause a bit of confusion and all that good stuff. Give me this. Get another one out there. Grab all of this. Kid takes down Glutus. Maybe it was Glandon. The Eat other that. big fella soon joins his brother, wherever they are now. Finally get the message. Oh. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. But that makes it more fun. Yeah. Okay. Let's get the rest of these. And what is this? Marshall's badge. He used to dream of getting a Marshall's badge, but not like this. Oh, I did collect the core. Okay, that's good. And now ain't nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrick Fort. I couldn't remember if I grabbed the core or not. Kid oh. shows up just as Zolf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Okay. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was his smoking pipe. Is that so? The marshals seem like marshals. good men, he says. They treated him with dignity. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the marshals kept a wary eye on him. <laughs> 